Good morning, everyone. It is a Wednesday, the 17th. I don't have work today. Rock on. So I am going to make some three ingredient buttermilk biscuits. So let's get this started and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Yay! Look at that. Who's that? So we are on our way down to the kitchen. My brother and his friends are downstairs. So I'm gonna be quiet. So I film with my phone. <laughs> if you can't tell that, that's how I film. Um, and I have a selfie stick that I use as my tripod. Even though it's like a monopod, I guess. First things first, you get all the ingredients out. Buttermilk and butter. And some self-rising flour. So, can I just say that this was not the shot that I wanted, but it'll have to do. This is a half cup. I scooped two of these. For one full cup. Five, six biscuits. So. I did heaping ones. I never really measure. I use one of these. You can also cook cinnamon rolls in those. Always spray it though. With ham or put some Crisco or butter in it. So, for every cup, I put about a half a stick of butter. Yesterday I did like one and a half cups, that's why I have a awkward chunk. Cut it up small, easier to crumble in there. So, if it has a little bit of crumbs in it, that's a good start but you need it pretty much all to look like that. Time out. I got a text from my homie. <laughs> and we're back. So now with the buttermilk, you pour enough so that it all sticks together and that the crumbs don't fall apart, but not too much that it's sticky in your hands. I really don't measure ever. So you just work it together and you'll get a handful. <laughs> And you can either take the knife and cut it off to get all of it back in there, or you could just use your other hand, whatever you want to do. See how that looks? It's a little bit too crumbly, so I need to put a little bit more buttermilk in there. See? It formed a nice clump. That's how you know it's good. I honestly just pat out little biscuits. I've learned to not work it too much. Because the more you work it, the more crumbly it gets. 
so I'm kind of just pat it out, call it good. So it made six biscuits. Bam. Now I'm gonna preheat the oven to 500. That's as hot as my oven goes. So that's the biscuits. I put them in the preheated oven for 10 minutes. Check to see if they're golden brown on the top, and if they are, pull them out. If not, I usually heat, do it for two more minutes. So after I put them in for a little bit longer, there's 10 seconds left, and then we're gonna take them out even if they're not super golden brown on top. Yay! So this is how it all turned out. Biscuits look good. I'll give you a consensus after I eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I finished mine and I give it two thumbs up. I think my brother gives it two thumbs up too. Yeah. Yay, we did it. Woo. Try to make them super easy, even though there's like no measurements of anything. Just eye it. The force will be with you. Hope you liked it. Like, thumbs up, subscribe, all those fun YouTube things. Bye! It's a little bit better.